caught in the crossfire. What's up guys? Lancey Obscure Movie Guy coming to you once again. And today's video is going to be about the slap heard around the world. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> That was a nice one, okay. I'm out here, uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> well, I can, oh, okay. That was the uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar. So a couple weeks back, I did a video for my wife. Um, you know, women's empowerment. I was piggybacking off of the mustache and the beard. I did Sandra Bullock and I did Jennifer Lopez and Betty White. My wife wanted me to talk about Jada Pinkett Smith and I wasn't a huge fan of her, so I didn't want to talk about her. Yet here I am having to talk about her regardless. So if anybody tuned into the Oscars last night or if anybody's even turned on a computer or been on social media at all today, then they would have known that Will Smith went all gung-ho on Chris Rock yesterday and bitch slapped him live at the Oscars and then promptly told Mr. Rock to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. So, wasn't too sure what to make of this uh, when it had happened. I saw some of the clips last night. I really don't know a whole lot about Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, I choose not to. Um, it was a joke. People get roasted at the Oscars all the time. Ricky Gervais roasted all of Hollywood a couple of years ago in an eight-minute monologue that was nothing short of spectacular. So when I saw Chris Rock make a joke, I didn't think much of it, and then Will Smith proceeded to slap the crap out of him. So I was like, well, that seemed a little, uh... <laughs> seemed like a pretty reasonable reaction, right? No, not really. But uh, after doing some digging, um... Perhaps the joke was made in poor taste. If anybody saw Jada Pinkett Smith at the Oscars... Uh, we know that she doesn't have a whole lot of hair, and that is not by choice per se. Uh, she apparently suffers from an autoimmune disorder, alopecia, which causes balding or bald spots um, in your hair, which may or may not grow back. Um, in some cases, some, most of the time it does grow back, usually within like 12 months. Um, sometimes not at all. Even if it does grow back, it's not guaranteed that it's going to grow back to its fullest uh, if you will. So I guess she's gone with the, uh, she's chosen to do the shaven head, uh, Sinead O'Connor look, uh, which is fine. Um, I know people with alopecia, they know who they are. Um, and I think the joke was, you could look at this two ways, really. Um, I don't know what Chris Rock's relationship is with Will Smith or Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, he seemed to make the joke uh, whether it was in poor taste or not, it looked to me as if Chris Rock had a pre-existing, fairly decent relationship with the Smiths, and that's why he elected to do the joke. Whether or not he actually knows Jada Pinkett has alopecia is unbeknownst to me. I don't know. Um, but it seemed like he kind of knew that there was an issue and made light of it. And obviously Jada Pinkett didn't um, appreciate it. And Will Smith, though he was laughing for initially, uh, apparently when he saw the disgust on Jada Pinkett's face, he decided to take matters into his own hands and literally put them on Chris Rock. So, <laughs> what's Chris Rock's face got on it today? Fresh Prince. Oh, anyways. Um... So the joke was, you know, kind of made in poor taste, but I feel like Chris Rock um, kind of thought that he had a better relationship with them and that maybe he could poke fun at something like that. And uh, I'm sure given the situation, had Will Smith brought that 
to Chris's attention in a different matter. I'm sure Chris would have apologized. Um, I don't think Chris expected that kind of reaction. And for those who say that this was staged, I, I don't think that's the case. Um, that, that's his reaction after the slap uh, tells me that he was uh, a little bewildered and very much obviously caught off guard by the initial slap, but it looked like he was more bewildered by the, the overall reaction uh, from Will, uh, not just slapping him, but then cussing him out. And that's generally something, uh, even if it was staged, you would not stage um, that kind of cussing on live air uh, because the network has to pay the FCC fines for such foul language. Now, the American version, if you're watching it last night live, um, there's a bit. Of, there's about a four second delay between live TV and then it actually reaching your uh, home television set. So there is a there's a guy that sits there with a button to uh, censor that stuff out. So in America it did get censored out. Around the world uh, they have less stringent censors. Uh, it would seem, and you could hear Will Smith cussing uh, about the whole scenario. So, but I, I don't think it was. I don't think it was staged. If it was, it was done very well. Will Smith's a good actor. He obviously won an Oscar last night for Best Actor. Um, for King Richard, but I, judging by Chris Rock's reaction, um, I don't think it was stage. So, uh, you know, I had to jump on the bandwagon with everybody else. Uh, you know, Jada Pinkett's condition, uh, you know, it depends. You know, a lot of people say I can be like, you shouldn't make fun of people like that. Well, you know, I think that really depends on the relationship you have with the person. Uh, I make fun of people all the time for, for uh, dumb shit that they do, but... It's, it's generally close friends. And my close friends and my family know that if I'm not giving you a hard time about something, then I generally don't like you. So, and that's just the way I am. I got a buddy that's got alopecia. Can't grow hair in certain spots. He knows who he is. I might make fun of him one day and he'll give it right back to me about something else. That's how we roll. That's how our relationship is. So, if Chris Rock did not I'm sure he doesn't have a good relationship with the Smiths now but if he didn't have a good relationship with them prior to that then yeah it probably was made in poor taste if he didn't know that she has a condition and it was unbeknownst to him then that's not necessarily necessarily fair to rock to get slapped like that um, but I think I think it could have been handled way better by will um, I think the way rock handled it after he got slapped was very well considering the situation at hand and live television and the Oscars and took a minute to process what was going on and then moved on with the show. So props to Chris for that. Um, but that's my take. Nothing major else to talk about. Uh, I'm working on some other videos. So, But thought I'd give my take on the whole Oscars slap heard around the world. And... Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and comment to the video. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, the, Swill Myth, the, the Will Smith, Chris Rock uh, slap. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. What is the five fingers? Say to the face! <laughs> what? Slap!